We begin at State House Nairobi, where President Uhuru Kenyatta challenged leaders of Turkana County to ensure that the local community owns part of the petroleum pipeline that will evacuate petroleum products from the county. The president said the locals can convert their interest in the land to be used for the pipeline into shares that would earn them dividends every year instead of outrightly selling the land. The proposed pipeline construction project will run from Lokichar in Turkana County to the proposed Lamu Port as part of the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor project. Meanwhile, the construction of Kenya's first fertilizer plant is scheduled to begin in September this year. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Felix Koske has confirmed this, saying the firm appointed to undertake the project is currently looking for land in the North Rift region to put up the 104 billion shillings plant. By March, we identified uh, Toyota Shusho from Japan. They are now fertilizing um, acquisition of land where they are going to construct a fertilizer plant in Eldoret. Meanwhile, national carrier Kenya Airways has received its second Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft two months since the arrival of its first Dreamliner jet. The new jet is expected to commence operations in July, flying between Nairobi and Johannesburg. Kenya Airways expects four more Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircrafts by the end of this year. Finally, Muranga County government is set to migrate its revenue collection system from a manual to a digital system. Muranga Town Administrator Jeremiah Kamau says the system will initially be rolled out on a pilot basis in Muranga Town before expanding to other areas. Denis Otieno, Monday Special.